two ways in and out of there. Well, there's a lot of ways in and out, but these are the two ways that go to the highway. It's called Indian Mound Road. said to go in. Yeah, it's, it's up those. You can see the couple big buildings up there. It's the road. The road is right past those buildings. It's the farmers, farmers buildings. Thank you. 
believe that. I guess a, a property in That's the one, because yeah. I remember it being white in color. Yeah. So that's it. So, so, this is your so yeah, the property starts at these trees right here. There's a flag. Yeah, at that flag there. It starts at these trees and it goes. Both uh, 11 and 12 have frontage on this road. So there's 12. So there's 12. And the 11 is right there. So you have your drive coming off of this road. This 11 and it goes to the left of those trees, all the way up. Uh, I guess we could probably park up because that thing's right up there and just walk this way. Yeah. That road. That way you're out of the road. You kind of walk up there a little bit. It looks like it's the snow's melting. I think it's on, well you can look on the map, it's a left of those, it's a left set of trees. Because yeah, it opens like this in the back. Yeah, I was going to say, because you're going to have a hill to go over with your driveway. Yeah. That's not much of a hill. Let's park right here and we can walk over there. No, down by the trees there, we can go. This is uh, the front of that property, right on the road. And where Amanda's walking down there, uh, you see that big pine tree. Uh, to the left of that pine tree and all the way over to where the trees are would be the frontage of our property on the road, uh, numbers 11 and 12. And we'll walk down that way and uh, walk up on the property. <clears throat> That's 10C. <clears throat> it goes just to the left of the trees, just like I figured. So this is a uh, 10, the edge of 10, and it follows that tree line up and over the hill. You can see the stakes in the ground. Okay. And then the 12 goes past them trees a little ways. Or are no, this is 11 and 12. Yeah, sorry, 11 and 12. Yeah. 10 is over here. 10 is on the right side, 11 and 12 11 is on there. Right. Yeah. yeah, and over. So that stake line would be the Yeah, the stake, the stake line would be the property all the way past those trees over there on the frontage road. Then, then it widens out. No, that's not bad. Uh-uh. You don't have to, uh, you won't have to do nothing but put a driveway in. And I can walk back down to the number 12 side. Just See you later. Yeah. <laughs> huh. Well, they just graded out. And put rock in. No, they wouldn't. Uh -uh, a bit. It's not very steep. You go straight. Well, yeah, you knock it out and you knock it flat. <clears throat> Just the one side, you know, so make it flat. Oh, yeah.
the game trail. Oh yeah. There's a pond. <clears throat> um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah, it's 12 on that side of the marker. And that one. And this is 11 on this side. But. <clears throat> well, walking, it's all property. Here's the Yeah, I love and see a big white stake out there. It goes all the way down to the property that way. And all the way up. Like halfway up that hill or more. And then all the way over to the tree line and back to the back trees are back there. And the whole left side following the tree line down. And it goes into the trees, the property, a little bit all the way down there. Video, or this map though, that doesn't look like it. It but goes further no over. Trees. I don't think that's accurate. I think that's a different person's property back there, right? Yeah. But you're still, in my opinion, you're still going to want to be up there, even if it's a little closer to there. Yeah. You want this in the front yard? Because then you get that, you'll still get that really high. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm water feature here. Yeah, but I don't just, I just don't want to Because running a lecture track to yourself, how many feet of driveway was that? <clears throat> Well, it's not, uh, yeah. <laughs> that's not a thousand feet. Well, that's yeah, that's not a thousand feet. You don't think so? No. A thousand feet is two thirds of a mile. Okay. No, actually, a thousand feet is one fifth of a mile. One fifth of a mile, yeah. I think nine starts at that corner right there with this. Or no. Right here is, uh, You can see the property marker right there. Yeah. It goes way over that way. I think this might be the edge marker right here, Amanda. Right where you're at. Um, this is a property line for, you can see a, the post right there, that's the edge of 11, and it goes uh, a ways that way, probably 200, 300 feet, and 12 goes uh, straight back all the way to them trees, uh, way up at the top you see them, and all the way up down. The tree line, and I'm gonna walk over there because this is the highest part. And the twelve goes all the way back there. This is a good 
<laughs> yeah. Bill, Bill on 12, yeah. Well, you can build on both, but 12 is probably where you'd want the house. Let me do a 360. It's all buildable for sure. It's all pretty level up here. And 12 goes all the way back to that tree line there. Yeah, you can hold that. I'm just so I can kind of talk to the camera. Okay. This is like on 12, and that's 11 right there. And 12 goes all the way back, like I was saying, back there. So I was just going to measure for like a driveway to the road. Um, yardage. Uh, 100 and. Wait. I'd walk weird. down there if you need to ping me. 235 yards it's saying. 235 yards? Yeah. That's uh, 700, seven, 700 feet. feet of road. Okay, so it's 300 less than that he did for that guy. 300 feet of road less. But it's not a huge... I mean, you can follow the train and make a road up, you know, on the low spots. This one right, right up here. Yeah. Just be a gravel road. Obviously. And you could make, honestly, you could make one road for 11 and 12 and then just Y it off. Whenever. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you'd want to put it like right in here and then go down. Yeah. I'm gonna go over here and look at the back a little bit. So 11 is five acres or six acres and 12 is nine acres. So you get 15 acres total. <clears throat> and the ground actually looks like a nice dirt. You get to the uh, not that clump of trees, but right, right to the left of those clumps, and all the way over. It's a lot of land. Uh. Walk this way. I guess I'll walk over to the property line a second you can see down this line that's the property line between 11 and 12 or wait it goes this way there's this stake on the other side right there between 11 and 12 going back yeah you could this is a corner marker for 11 you can kind of see the next marker down that way. Uh, you're going down to the road. So you, this is a corner and you have a really good view. And 11 goes off that way. Or no, right there. That way. And 9 is back this way. So basically be following that line and then cutting over and getting all the trees back there to 12 and all the way along. I can't even see Curtin Amanda, they're way out by the trees. Um, so all this property and then down the hill would be all the property. 
of that way. So you could build, you know, pretty much anywhere in here. You build way up on the hill back there if you wanted to. Back. Uh, huh? Well, yeah, for sure. Just because I, I think you're going to need multiple options because I think if the farther back you go, the more money you spend. Yeah. So is this flat enough, do you think you can Oh, yeah, def here? definitely. You can build right up on the hill right here. And then your driveway for now would only have to go here. Yeah. You know? And your electric would only have to go there to there, water, you know? Yeah. Just just show the views from the, maybe the cheapest Yeah, this is, this is a... And then if you guys end up having more money, you could always go further back. Yeah. Between this is on eleven. But um, this is fairly flat right here where you could have a house. Yeah. yeah this would be no problem. Both would be no problem. That's it'd save, you. it'd save you maybe a couple thousand bucks well, on in gravel and it'd set well what she was mostly concerned about is water. Water. Connection. Yeah. Um, and and just coming up over that hill for the excavators and stuff, that's pretty darn steep. Yeah. I don't know if he'd run the there you know yeah or but, or uh what do you call it shop back there against the trees or something well, i mean realistically what is it is it half as far for your driveway and water i would think so it might be half as far half and as I far yeah the electric is right here so that'd be cheaper than cheap yeah but i'm just thinking because they have to trench to bring the water in from the road well, that pole right there is yeah. something what's that that's power? that's power that's power okay, so that's, so that's easy. and this is really pretty yeah this is and it's relatively flat. I'm sure the excavator guy would come out here and be like, yeah, we'll position it in the flat as possible. Yeah. He just said anytime you move earth, it you're costs money. Big money. Yeah. So the less earth you And it's flat up there too, it's just more driveway to move. Yeah. But the thing is is it levels out right there too, so the rest of the driveway would be this is the hardest part. So this right. is what you need yeah. to do. You gotta figure out water. Water, is yeah. Is it expensive to get water from the road here and there? versus how much is a well yeah i just think if you guys have multiple very accessible you know building sites yeah you can't go wrong well no it's there's plenty of places to build out here so it's just do. that was the corner of 11 and then from there it went a little bit this down. this way in and then up where 12 went yeah and it would be kind of cool I think following that stake line right there i think i think it would be kind of cool to have your house Yeah. Just so they know. Because right here could be a cool one spot. at a very short, like this would be your, a very cheap area. Because they just take some from right there. Level it off. Got, what do you got, 500 feet? Of roadway, yeah. I think they would be, I mean, if depending on uh, price, I'm sure they'd want to build to the back of the property, though. Yeah. Or to the back of this. Just depending on price, yeah. you, you have options. Where, where's your neighbor going to want to build? Could so. you be yeah. close to them if you build back there? Well, they, they have they have all the way back past those trees back there. They have nine acres. You, you might you might wait and see because they're already under contract. They might start building sooner, and you could see where they put their houses. Yeah. And it, and you it really, almost guarantee those people who took not. This is a twelve kind of comes to like a point. Um. That's 11 on that side, and 12 goes all the way back into the back and then over. And it falls them trees down, and it goes down in this, uh, like a little bit of a ravine in there, to the road. And down there. But you can see the slope, it's nothing like the other place, uh, you know, to get where the home site is. And it's all usable for doing stuff. It's just, I guess they call it gently rolling hills or something. This is the road. And the property line is, starts down here. 
I'm not gonna go over there because it's muddy. So I'm just gonna shoot shoot the angle to the top of the hill from where I'm standing. Uh, I can get down lower because I'm just, I'm tall. The top the top I guess I okay. The top marker is right there. That's seven degree slope, which is almost nothing. This is a seven we're gonna go up. It already has the driveway on it. Um, what we're seeing is five connects to it. Is five available? Yes, it is. Seven, five, eight, 11, 12, and then basically one, two, any of the lower numbers, but we were trying to keep it seven and higher. Higher, yeah. Except with the exception of five, which is good, gives us right over the hill. Yeah. yeah. Do you have that on your thing so we can kind of see where it is, Amanda? Yeah. Oh, you got it. I think that's the back post of seven, probably. And five is probably right here. Because it is true, you get a free driveway. Yeah. And it is up high. I think that's probably the corner post. Okay. Oh, no, I don't see anything on it. Yeah, it is. It's a higher height view because I see the hill. Yeah. Or the second hill. This gives you a, uh, we're on standing on site seven right now. Um, so the property we're talking about, 11 and 12, is behind this tree line here, all the way to the other tree line. And you can kind of see the lay of the land. It's all usable property. Um, and it goes all the way back to the back trees back there. So it's that whole back section of property. So you're pretty much pretty much the best part of the property. We walked through this whole area to look at all the different properties. Um, and that's that's the best of the bunch because all these other ones have easements going up for the properties behind them. <clears throat> so you'd have cars going up both sides of your houses or your property line. Um, to get to the back ones, where this one doesn't have any easements at all. The only thing is, the, there's a property <clears throat> line right next to the trees here for this number 10 p position. So there's no there's no easement at all. So there, there you go down to the road too, so they don't have a driveway going up the road by your property at all. Alright.